Okay, so I know I just did a video on what to bring, and I, I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know, maybe I should do another video, because I haven't done one, I, you know, I haven't, you know, kept up with it, but I was like, okay, well, what should people expect when they come here? Because I was thinking about Thomas Adriana, um, and when I had watched her videos, she did, you know, how people be acting bougie when they come here and feel like they deserve more and they okay fam you needs a lot of improvement but it's not just the structure and the campus that needs improvement it's also the students that need improvement like fam you is working to improve a lot of the stuff like we came back from our spring break and they put you know new stuff in the bathrooms they try to fix it up the ladies come the ladies that come and clean they're really nice they come and clean every day and i, I kind of feel for them because they don't you know get holidays off as much as you know regular people do and they gotta clean up after these nasty trifling females you know i'm not saying all of them are like that but when you come here like right now the girls dorms are not the best <laughs> You know, like, let me see. Let me show y'all my window, for example. Um, okay. Um, maybe, I don't know if y'all can see the paint chipping. And that there's a hole in the screen. Like, it goes through, you know. Oh, I got a phone call. But ignore that. I'll silent it. And, you know, the floors... A lot of work can be done. They just built, they just fixed up two of the guys' dorms. So I heard they look really nice and they're going to be open. I'm kind of jealous because our dorms, you know, they're, they're not there yet. <laughs> okay. But when you come here, really don't act like you're better than everybody else. Nobody likes that. There, there are people that are really stuck up and snotty and I don't see how people can be friends with them. You know, you gotta, of course, you're going, you're coming to a black college. And I hate to say it, but, you know, there are ratchet people here. And I don't like to associate people being ratchet and people being ghetto and all that stuff with black people. But with that stereotypical mind, that's what it is like. You will run into people that are ratchet, that are ghetto. You can't understand what they're saying. They pants hanging halfway down their ass. This boy was walking like... <laughs> I don't even know. I was just staring at this guy because he was walking like his legs like wide apart to try to keep up his pants. You know, I'm not saying I'm against sagging pants. You know, it's straight. But damn, if you're changing the way you walk, you need to do something about that, right? Um, People are very explicit. I mean, we in college. I'm still, I'm really still, you know, proper and thinking about adults and stuff. So I really don't curse around people outside. If, you know, I'm comfortable with a friend, I might curse. But some people, they just yell at the top of their lungs, uh, bitch this, hold that, nigga this, nigga that. But I guess that's anywhere you go at an HBCU. Because uh, my friend, she goes to Howard. She tells me it's like that there too. Um... There are, you know, they got little nice stuff on campus. They have Jasmine's Cafe. They have smoothies and muffins and stuff, you know. And then there's um the orange room. They have wraps. They have burgers. They have fries. I like the wraps. The wraps are pretty legit. The Baja, that's, that's my favorite one. Um, The landscaping. It's getting better. There's this nice, there oh, this nice white lady. She she does a really good job. She she be getting it like Martha Stewart. The people, the people. Oh, the set. Okay, so for y'all that don't know, there's this thing. It's called the set, and I don't know. It's like it's like a, it's where like the fashion happens. People go out and hang out there. It's like there's music. And there's this, this this little place. If you go by the girls' dorms and you pass them just a little bit where people be parking, there's like this barbecue place. I don't know. I, I got some food from there and it was the bomb. They had mac and cheese, they had chicken, they had pork, potato salad. 
It was the bomb. All the batteries got me. Okay. And, um, sorry. I'm, I'm a hot mess. I know. I really am. But I'm happy, so it's okay. There is, um, safety patrol, and they, something like that, and they drive around little golf carts at night and stuff. If you need, you know, you need a ride somewhere or something, you can go to them. They have emergency lights and stuff. And um, it's kind of look like a phone thing, and you press the red button, and something happens. I don't know, cause I never pressed the button. There is a lot of stuff that needs work. You know, I be taking random pictures. You know, of like lights that be broken, and it's it's you know you just can't help but think in your mind. <sighs> it's ghetto, black school, of course. You should have figured. Um, the calf is where you eat. And, like, the road that the calf is on, people like to drive by and blast their music. And, um, oh, but there was this one fraternity guy I was crossing to go to the calf. And he was like, hey, baby, you want to dance with me? I'm like, I don't know how to dance. He's like, I can show you. It was, it's just funny. Some people are really outgoing and cool. And there's other people that are snotty and just, like, think they better than you. And I don't know. They're was this group outside yesterday and they were kind of like this religious group and they were talking about um jesus and you should repent and they had this sign and it was like all these stds i'm like yo that's nasty but um yeah this this campus is is very interesting i don't know what it's like at fsu i know the campus is a lot nicer it's a lot bigger it's more updated but, I mean, it also has a lot to do with the alumni, you know. Their alumni give back a lot to the school. I don't know so much about our alumni. Oh, there's a health department. If y'all have high blood pressure like me, you know, <sighs> high blood pressure, you need to go check your blood pressure. It's a machine and records all your little things. And I think they have, like, little doctors in there and have free condoms. So you don't need to be, go out spending some $16. Not that I know that they're $16, so I don't need to be condoms because I don't be having sex. <laughs> Okay, so um, they give out a bunch of free condoms. They are always promoting safe sex because they know you finna get it in even though guys aren't allowed in the girls' dorms and girls aren't allowed in the guys' dorms. They're not, not saying I do this, but there are plenty of buildings that be open, that be vacant, you know, before 12 o'clock when it's dark. Not saying I do that because I'm a good girl. Christian, hey, okay, hallelujah. And, um... There's the health clinic. The gym. The gym is legit. I think called the rec center. And it's like three stories. And they got the workout stuff. And they be having Zumba and yoga. And there's this one trainer. His name is Cyrus. He fine. Hey. And they got rock climbing. <laughs> they got swim pools. But they broke. Ish. I don't know. They don't have water in them. So they go to FSU to practice. And um. Yeah. FAMU, FAMU, your experience will be what you make of it. You know, if you do your work, if you go to class, you should have no problems in your class. If you got problems learning material, get a tutor, okay? Um, really, people down FAMU so much because of the partying and everything, but, I mean, you don't have to go to the parties. Nobody's forcing you to go to parties. Nobody's forcing you to drink. Nobody's forcing you to smoke weed, which they do a hell of a lot. I be hearing people talking about weed all the time. I'm like, really? Okay. But nobody forces you to do anything. You make the decisions. Your life is what you make of it. Your experience at FAMU will be what you make of it. People down at so what? I mean, people that are down in the school, oh, the school so ratchet, this ghetto. I mean, what are you doing to make it better? Just think about that. Okay? I hope that was good, too. I know I'm showing a little bit more of my personality because I'm, like, crazy. But, okay. Um, yeah, y'all have a good day.